Hi folks, today we're going to look at some rare uh, attachments for the Amco Delta Shaper. Uh, there's a rotary table, there is an indexer, um, there's some fittings to make internal keyways. And what I have here is the rotary table. I need, however, to make some, uh, some bolts and some nuts for it. I only got the one example that came with it. <clears throat> so what I have on the uh, Shaper today is the indexer and we're going to make the square well we're going to turn that round thing into a square thing so i can make those nuts ah, it's just for fun and to see the capabilities of the uh, of the indexer now mine didn't come actually i'll show you what mine came with i actually found it in england in the uk and i guess they had the uh the index part turned around so they were using it um for indexing something else I was a little surprised to find it in the UK because they never really had the Delta or Amco shapers. I know that they had the Atlas one, I think they called it the Acorn, so that was kind of a surprise find for me. So uh, I had to make some missing bits. <clears throat> uh, it was missing uh, the clamp and missing this piece here for holding the dog. Uh, it did come with the one plate, and as you can see, I've marked on the holes that I need to uh, index to. An interesting feature is if the, uh, the peg, if you can use it on the outer ring, and then there's another hole that you can use it on the inner ring. But we're using the outer ring today because that one's divisible by four. So I have everything uh, set up, I hope. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet. Uh, we're going to lock it and we're going to give it a whirl. I have already touched off. We're just going to do like a scratch pass to make sure that nothing goes wrong. And I uh, will put you on the stand here so you can, you can see the progress. Let's take a pass, find out what happens. Fingers crossed. Now, as you can see, it's kind of tight. There's not a lot of room before the cut or room after the cut. But uh, I think there's enough, so we'll see what happens here. I'll just speed it along a little bit. Okay, looks like that one's going to miss, so we'll bring it back and give it a bit more. Hey, can we give it 10 pounds? Uh, There we go. Well, nothing fell apart. Once we finish, I'll rotate that and do the next side. So all we do is loosen the, the nut there. I'll rotate it in the clockwise direction. Get it set back. Scoop.
this thing has some screws in it that tighten up on that dog so it has no chance to move around. I just kind of guessed at the measurements for the missing pieces looking at the pictures. But uh, if anybody else has parts missing, you're welcome to contact me and I'll share uh, what I ended up doing. I just increased the stroke there so we can make these cuts go through a little quicker. And then we slow it down on the final cusp and have a nice surface finish. Okay, take it down another 10. Going easy on this, this is the first time I've used it, so. Better safe than sorry. Making a pretty good cut there.
Okay, I'm gonna pause the video there and I'll bring you back uh, when I'm a little more uh, ahead. Okay, we're back making the last pass. Uh, there's been no drama, everything's been working well. I have to say it's been lots of fun uh, using this dividing attachment. It's uh, worked better than I thought it was going to. Seems to handle the cutting pressure no problem. Just two more sides and we'll uh, take a look at the finish. Nice chip coming off there. Okay, last pass off the last side. So that should be it. Let's take a look. It's 
pretty good. I, I left the uh, kind of the roughing step over, so it's not as smooth as it could be, but it's going to be good enough for, for making nuts. Let me know if you want to see videos on the other accessories I have. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.